Hello everyone, this is Christy and today I'm going to show you a quick way to create frame by frame animations in Zara. Um, I have Zara Designer Pro X here. This is the latest version. It works in older versions as well. And although this is just a vector graphic program, you can actually create simple animations and you can export them to GIF or flash or even frame by frame uh, to disk. So let me just show you how to do an animation. The first thing you do is just go to file new and then select animation. And this creates a default page for you. And the first thing you need to do is just set the page size for the animation, the final animation you want to have. So if you right click on this and change page options, you can have a default page of 480 by 320 doesn't matter you can just set any size you like here or even put a custom size let's just go with this one apply and this is before you actually start your animation now this is the animation frame and um, if you don't have this panel on the right side if it didn't open for you there's a panel here called animation frame gallery you can make this one uh, just stay open by clicking this little um, tag there and you can see that the uh, Zara already created a one frame. So we will just start with one frame. The way you do it is you actually, you can copy a frame you've made, you copy it onto the next frame and so on, and your animation progresses. So we just play today with something very simple. We're just creating a flower, just uh, coming from the ground and uh, going up and flowering. So let's just uh, put a, a, a a ground down here and this is my first frame right so I'm just gonna take the pencil tool uh, from the left there and I'm gonna just put a, a line of about four pixel maybe this is not okay that's not very thick that's fine and let's just create the first this is the first frame so I'm just going to zoom in a bit and just create this little line here and I'm gonna just click on this to copy the frame so it's gonna copy the entire contents of this frame onto another frame so if, if i click this now you'll see there's two frames here and i will just continue with my line copy again continue with my line maybe now i should introduce uh, maybe a piece of a leaf and another one here and copy again continue with the leaves like that copy again just continue with the leaves and keep going with this upwards like that so as you just draw your frame you, you just keep have to copy your frames and now this is the middle there keep going start creating the petals so every time you want to stop and copy your frame wherever you want to stop drawing maybe start two at a time just keep going like this you don't have to uh, keep the camera as it were in the same place because uh, it doesn't matter all the animation is relative to your frame like that and just go like this one more frame and finish the flower it doesn't look like much but anyway so I have created here 19 frames by just copying these frames and keep adding stuff to them now of course you can go back to your uh, animation or, or you can click this these two selection here so you can actually preview what your animation is doing so if you find that there's a problem somewhere you can actually go back but the, the thing is you're going to have to do the same thing in every frame after that one so if i change the color of this um, center piece here if i make that one maybe orange it's not going to change in all the frames after that. So I have to actually do it with each one of them. So I'm not going to do it now because it's going to take a long time. So I'm just going to undo this. OK, so this is your animation. So how can you preview it now? So let's click this button here. It's, it's, uh, it's called preview movie. So it's going to just play back our animation to see how it uh, is working. So if you notice the delay here for every frame is like half a second, I think, uh, because this is the default um, frame time. If you're okay, preview your video here. And if you think that your animation is too slow, you can actually speed it up and uh, you can do it frame by frame, but that's going to take a long time. So what you can do is you can set the properties for all of the frames, the duration. So if you go to properties here and you switch to animation loop and speed 
and this is going to have here it says display each frame for many seconds i'm just going to delete that and say 0.1 seconds okay apply that and that's going to apply to it will replace all individual frame timings i'm going to close this let's preview it again so there you go my animation is actually much faster now so yeah it's working so if i'm happy with my animation all i have to do is just export this to a gif or a gif or whatever and um, yeah you have your animation and you know you need to remember that the final size of the gif will be actually what the size of your frame was so if i export this and i open it you'll see that my frame is exactly the size that i have um, created it when i started my work so this is it how you create animation in zara frame by frame using the animation frame gallery and uh, step by step thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel if you enjoy these videos and uh, let's uh, meet next time for more tutorials